Hello, welcome back everyone on this magnificent Monday for another jam-packed YouTube video and this one is a rather special one. We are going to be continuing to cover in this video what was a monumental announcement that came out of the Cardano Summit. Of course, that announcement was announced by Eden Yago, somebody who we've had the pleasure of interviewing around about two years ago uh, in regards to Sovereign, um, which was very much trying to do uh, DeFi on Bitcoin. But the announcement that came out of the Cardano Summit just gone, and we'll be looking at him actually announcing this and looking at a recent article published by Bitcoin OS, the operating system for Bitcoin that is essentially going to enable Cardano to become the smart contract layer to Bitcoin. Now, this isn't just huge for Bitcoin. This is also absolutely colossal for Cardano and potentially the broader cryptocurrency space as once Cardano achieves interoperability and there is a clear roadmap for that, this is going to allow sort of uh, native Bitcoin to interact with uh, not just a smart contract layer, but the broader cryptocurrency space without the need for uh, essentially wrapping tokens. Uh, and actually, it will allow for smart contracts in many ways to essentially be directly um, achieved on Bitcoin specifically rather than taking it onto a layer two and then back onto Bitcoin, of course, with zero knowledge proofs. What uh, Bitcoin OS did was they found a way to essentially achieve with Taproot zero knowledge proofs on Bitcoin, which means you can wrap up or, or, or you can kind of embed Cardano into Bitcoin. So extremely exciting announcement. Of course, Bitcoin has a market cap of $1.3 trillion. It is the premier cryptocurrency. Um, it currently makes up 60% give or take of the overall market. And Cardano essentially is going to bootstrap Bitcoin's success in many regards and actually enable Bitcoin perhaps to succeed in a decentralized fashion to more of a degree than its current layer one is capable of. So we are going to be getting into that all. Very exciting news. We did cover it when it broke. Um, but what I want to do is I actually want to dive over to a article published by Bitcoin OS and the title of this article is Cardano's Time to Shine. I think many people are misinterpreting or certainly um, not appreciating the true gravity of what this announcement essentially means. Now, we've always said for Cardano, the tables can turn for it with in an instant. And it only takes a narrative, a narrative such as this, to actually see Cardano do extremely well, um, certainly bootstrapping the largest cryptocurrency and thus ecosystem and community that there is within the cryptocurrency space. And, and the beautiful thing about this partnership is it benefits both parties and the, and the space more broadly as a whole. So it starts by saying Cardano's integration with Bitcoin OS is an incredibly bullish turning point for both its builders and investor community. The breakthrough technology of Bitcoin OS gives Bitcoin eyes and a brain, enabling it to see and understand activities on other chains. This allows Cardano to lend its magic to Bitcoin, making magic internet money even more magical. As the first alternative layer one network to plug into Bitcoin, Cardano is now front and center to absorb Bitcoin's ocean of dormant capital and users likely boosting the network's adoption to unprecedented highs. Cardano may be an OG blockchain, yet its best days are still ahead of it. Cardano and Bitcoin, a perfect match is the next part of this. Although years of crypto infighting may have convinced you otherwise, Cardano and Bitcoin are natural and uh, neutral and complementary pair. As Charles Hoskinson explained this year, Cardano and Ethereum were built by early Bitcoiners who were previously driven out due to Bitcoin's inflexible nature. We didn't start with a layer one saying, hey, let's go and build a separate cryptocurrency. Vitalik was a core developer in the colored coined space. There was a lot of people trying to build on Bitcoin as well with Mastercoin. 
we all started as, hey, how do we build something on Bitcoin? We couldn't get it working. So we eventually, so eventually we had to go down our own layer one route. Yet unlike other cryptocurrency projects, Cardano hasn't forgotten its roots. Cardano uses a UTXO based transaction model, just like Bitcoin. This creates heightened compatibility between the two chains, including the ability to write Cardano smart contracts that execute right on Bitcoin's mainnet without the need to use bridging at all. This is this is the sort of root of this announcement and the groundbreaking nature of it. And it's very interesting, isn't it, that even Ethereum spawned out of a lack of um, the capability to actually build on top of Bitcoin. And essentially Cardano has now solved that problem and largely would have had this in mind by using and utilizing UTXO from the beginning. Certainly Emergo have spoken about that in great detail previously. It also features layered architecture, prioritizing stability at its settlement layer and leaving optimization for scalability and flexibility to its computation layer. The pathway Bitcoin also agreed on during the block size war, of course, then you ended up with Bitcoin cash as a result of that war. Cardano's builders and community are long-term oriented. Its consensus system, Ouroboros, was built based on extensive peer-reviewed research with an inbuilt treasury to fund future development of its protocol. That development is led by Cardano's decentralized governance in which thousands of people participate globally. Remember, we do have a stake pool, ladies and gentlemen, all in. Do consider staking with us. The Cardano community sees the biggest picture or the bigger picture of building a tested, secure, and decentralized system that lasts for generations, and why that system will make humanity a better place. Now, this was from uh, the Cardano Summit in Buenos Aires, um, which featured Charles Hoskinson. Let's go ahead and listen to what he has to say before we continue with the Bitcoin opportunity. This was the lesson of the ancients, and it's something we forgot in our mad race to tear things down and build new things again and again and again. And my hope with Cardano is that it could inspire the world to remember that one lesson. Through decentralization, it never dies. Through good governance, it always has the best ideas. And with a horizontal thinking of decade after decade, every decade you make progress and every decade you get better. All the technology is there, the willpower is there, and think of the world we'll have. A world where we can trust each other again world where we can love each other again, a world where when you see something, you believe it, and a world of integrity. I'd like to live in that world. What are the other people offering? A world of hate and anger and division, a world where there's no heroes anymore, a world where you shouldn't even try because it's not worth anything, a world where when you accomplish something, the first thing people try to do is tear you down. A world of asterisks, that's the world they want you to live in, where every single person, event, and thing has a side story about why it's not as good as you think it is. I don't want to live in that world anymore. I want to live in a world of heroes, and I want to live in a world where you actually get things done. And that's basically what Cardano is. We remember the past, we're grounded in the present, and we will find a way to get to the future. You've got to give it to Charles Hoskinson each and every time. You know, we, we've, we've always expressed our sort of admiration for him. Um, Certainly familiar with 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 the law of power twenty seven. I would say very much so. Um, he's a cool guy, you know, and he's a very philosophical guy. And just like Bitcoin is, I think, a very much social movement more so than anything. Of course, it's an economical movement as well. Cardano has embodied that, and we've always always said in our five years now of covering Ada that it is the evolution of bitcoin in the sense that it's adhered to bitcoin's principles more so perhaps than any other smart contract um layer one that there is um and just the account space model is one of uh many sort of features that's embodied you know it's truly here i think it's very interesting that bitcoin perhaps now being gobbled up by institutions um is perhaps even leaving its roots somewhat um but Cardano is very much rooted or, 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 or seeded in Bitcoin's initial vision and, and furthering that vision 
to a broader audience and we've always said that um so the bitcoin opportunity by plugging into bitcoin cardano's years of thoughtful long-term planning and building will be rewarded in an unprecedented way for bitcoins for bitcoiners moving their capital into new programmable environments cardano's years of careful construction and consistent performance make it the place they can depend on to secure their digital gold as of October 2024, Bitcoin is a $1.3 trillion network, 57% of the entire cryptocurrency market and over 100x the current valuation of ADA. Cardano brings the owners of that capital a trustless, secure access to the financial services that they want. Amongst the network's 1,300 plus other pro projects, users can try DEXs like Sunday Swap to trade their Bitcoin for fiat and other assets or use Liquid for decentralized lending and borrowing. We know that there's demand for these services. Over 147,000 wrap Bitcoin currently circulate on Ethereum to fulfill this need worth 9.7 uh, billion sorry dollars 9.7 trillion wow calm down all in at current prices by comparison defi llama shows that cardano's current tvl in defi is only 225 million yet rap btc relies on a centralized custodian to protect it which is an unqualified uh, which is unqualified for security, conscious users, and in particular, institutional investors who want to put Bitcoin to work without added risk. This is just this is why I'm making this video, guys, because this is exciting. By contrast, upon uh, integrating with BOS, Cardano will become one of the first platforms in existence that finally asks users this concern how bos brings cardano back home bos is much more than a new type of bridge it is an entirely new computing paradigm the first true crypto operating system it allows bitcoin the world's most powerful and permanent computer network to become a ZK powered general computing system. So zero knowledge proof, this is a roll up essentially. This means Bitcoin will be able to verify and secure activity taking place on other blockchains, including chains built for far better scalability, privacy, the interaction of midnight also Cardano extends here, and functionality than its core protocol. Through BOS, existing blockchains can be transformed into full extensions of bitcoin itself application layers that share bitcoin's ironclad security and enormous capital base let's now go ahead and play this clip of yago actually announcing this and talking about this at the bitcoin uh, or sorry at the cardano summit and then we're going to continue on with this tweet We've been suffering from a bit of a, a dual purpose here in the whole world of crypto since the very, very beginning. In the very, very beginning, Bitcoin version 0.1.0, the very first version that came out, had two components to it. One was the creation of a token, which some of you may have heard of, called BTC. But the other part was the creation of the world's first DEP, the world's first decentralized application. It was called Poker Lobby. And it was supposed to be a distributed way to play poker across the Bitcoin network. And in the second version of Bitcoin, Poker Lobby was entirely removed. But ever since then, we've had this tension for 15 years. From the very genesis of the world of crypto to today, we've had this tension where we've had two parallel tracks. The first has been Bitcoin with BTC, an unchanging system for stable currency that you can transact with and that you can hold and that's it. That's the entire list of things that you can do with it. Very, very popular with that transactional and holding capacity, but that's it. And then on the other hand, we have the entire world of crypto innovation, a flourishing of chains and dApps and systems and technologies, which remains ultimately a small fraction of the entire crypto space and a small fraction of Bitcoin. So we have this tension where Bitcoin can be and is popular and can be used for holding value. 
And as a result, we've got 1.3, 1.4 trillion dollars effectively dormant or trapped in Bitcoin. And we have projects like Cardano building out tools that would allow you to do much more, to trade in a decentralized fashion, to lend in a decentralized fashion, and to build effectively an entire decentralized web architecture. We have functionality. So permaware and functionality, and those two up until now have not met. Cardano is a very special chain. It is by far the largest, most significant chain built as a UTXO system like Bitcoin and with a long-term view of the world like Bitcoin. But it too cannot interact with Bitcoin. And so the big announcement that we have today is that that is changing, that we have a major change coming for the entire world of Bitcoin the world of Cardano, the world of crypto, and the world of finance as a whole. Because for the first time, those two parallel lines, which were never to touch, are bending towards each other. We are now able, through Bitcoin OS, to verify on Bitcoin mainnet zero-knowledge proofs. And this gives Bitcoin brains and eyes. For the first time, we can build smart contracts on Bitcoin, and we can give Bitcoin the ability to see what is happening on other chains. And possibly the most important chain to do this with is Cardano. What this means is that we will soon have the ability to trustlessly bridge assets from Bitcoin to Cardano and vice versa. We will also have the ability to utilize the smart contract capacity of Cardano to write smart contracts that execute on Bitcoin mainnet, turning Cardano into a smart contract platform for the largest asset base in the world. We're looking at an entirely new phase for Bitcoin, Cardano, crypto, and finance. And I'm super excited to be able to discuss it here on this panel first. Thank you. Woo! Exciting, guys. It is truly exciting, this. Um, certainly, if you've been in this space for as long as I have and you understand the sort of ramifications of this and the kind of bootstrapping effect that Cardano is going to have as a result of this. So by connecting to BOS Grail Bridge, Cardano can soon be called a proper extension of Bitcoin. Grail will give Bitcoin users for the first time trustless solutions for moving Bitcoin into Cardano's smart contract environment. Unlike all previous solutions, this bridge requires no trust in third parties of function and remains secure when moving assets to and from each chain. This makes Grail likely to instill confidence in more Bitcoin owners to migrate their coins to Cardano and bring more credibility to Cardano's blockchain as a consequence. A bullish catalyst for ADA. As Cardano adoption blooms with BOS, the fundamental value of ADA will rise. The ecosystem that the token governs will become more diverse and secure much greater value. Its demand will rise as Cardano's users seek it out to pay gas fees for the growing network activity. Furthermore, ADA will be central to the most important emerging market narrative, the Bitcoin renaissance. Since the crypto market bottomed in November 2022, Bitcoin had been the common thread behind the industry's biggest story. It was ordinals and BRC20s in 2023 and Bitcoin's ETF in 2024. In 2025, it's going to be the awakening of Bitcoin led by Bitcoin OS. A new wave of investors will be searching for ways to ride into Bitcoin's new era and they won't just want to buy Bitcoin. They'll want other assets with seemingly higher potential for growth, sleeping giants that Bitcoin OS will awaken. In the context, ADA will offer exposure to Bitcoiners era of rebirth and with Cardano uh, and which Cardano will play a leading role. Let's go ahead and play this next shorter clip of Eden talking about this again um, and then we'll finish the last little bit of the tweet off. Every crypto cycle, every Bitcoin cycle has had a major theme, a major narrative where the big money was made and the big players were created and people want to identify this theme and it's actually pretty easy. It's always the new big capability we got. 2011, Bitcoin. 2014, it was altcoins. 2017, ICOs and tokens on Ethereum. 2020, it was DeFi and leverage. And this time, it's just as easy to identify. The new big capability that we're getting this time, the thing that we've never had before, 
is all of the capabilities of Bitcoin. Bitcoin's gotten NFTs, it's gotten tokens, it's in fact getting more and more token protocols, and it's getting the capability to do everything. Smart contracts, DAOs, DeFi, privacy, scalability, through rollups. In other words, everything is coming to Bitcoin. And that means that the new big theme is also on the new, on the old big coin. And it's also got like a little brother new big thing happening, which is the ETF, which is also on Bitcoin. To me, it's never been easier to identify what the new big thing of this narrative, of this cycle is. It's Bitcoin and what we can build on Bitcoin. And what that means is that we're going to see massive flows to Bitcoin, not just from the ETF, but also from the rest of the crypto world. We're going to see flows from outside crypto into Bitcoin and from inside crypto into Bitcoin. And it's my view that this is the best time to be building on Bitcoin that has ever existed. And it's also going to change the way narratives are done in the future. Because once everything comes back to Bitcoin, that's where it's going to stay. Boom. Well, so I'm not 100% in agreement with everything said there or more broadly. Um, but I am largely in agreement with a lot of the things discussed there. Uh, the last little bit of this article goes, Bitcoin is and always has been the ultimate meme in crypto. Though it has no marketing department, it's the one name that 99% of regulator, regulate, regular investors can recognize. It's the institutional chain of choice and the one world governments are gathering behind. There's a long, deep and intriguing story behind Bitcoin's adoption as a network and growth as a movement, one with an enticing path ahead of it today. With Bitcoin OS, Cardano is now a part of the story, positioned to benefit from the capital and prestige that comes with it. Cardano has been built, uh, has been building towards this uh, moment for 10 years. This is it. This is its time to shine and be a part of something much bigger. Wow. Very interesting. I actually wanted to spend the time, the 22 minutes that this video has been going on for, or 20 something minutes, depending on how we edit it out. Just covering this, if you're a Cardano holder, it's time to pay attention. This has broad ramification for the ecosystem. Some of the Cardano altcoins might do very well on the back end of this. We've got a computing Cardano altcoin coming on this week. Likely the interview will be released next week. That's it from me, ladies and gentlemen. Let me know your thoughts in the comment section. Are you bullish on this announcement? Are you as bullish as I am on this announcement? On that note, I'm going to love and leave you. Have a magic Monday, guys. See you all in the next one.